Now that we already have set up our scene, we can start sculpting by just left clicking and drag on our mesh. We can change the size and strength settings from the Sculpt Properties panel, which you can bring up by hitting N on the 3D view. Both settings have also a really quick way to access them with a shortcut, which is F for the size, as you can see, and Shift F for the strength, which we, Blender will draw now your your brush, and it will change the opacity of it according to the strength value. The closer you get to the center, the more strength it will your brush will have. So, besides changing the size and strength of your brush, you can also change a little bit of the shape of it, of this, this default brush. The best way to do this is just by playing with this curve in the brush panel in our edit settings. So you can see you can do really weird things like this rings there you can delete the points or you can just reset the shape of this curve by hitting reset on the brush panel until now we were using the draw tool for drawing on the surface of our mesh. We can also use the smooth tool to smooth our brush strokes. Well, the overall shape of our mesh is going to be soft and all smooth, it's nice. There's another tool which is pinch, which as you can see it tries to get all the vertices together So you can have a more sharp edges there, more sharp shape on our mesh. Which is really cool, I actually I use it all the time. There's also the inflate tool. Which you can see there I made a simple drawing with the draw tool, as you can see. And now I'm using the smooth tool because sometimes the inflate can be really strong. But the results are really good actually. I love this tool as well. Use it all the time with smooth and pinch. There's also the grab tool which lets you grab big pieces of uh, your mesh. Also very nice if you want to change the shape of your mesh really quickly. There's also the, um, the layer option, which will draw a layer of volume in our mesh, which is really cool also. If you want to add some volume to your mesh, it's really cool also, uh, really useful when you are using it and uh, when you should start sculpting, because you can give initial volumes to your mesh that way. Well, and the flatten tool just flats the surface of our vertices. It attempts to flatten everything that is behind the brush. All these tools, we were using it in the add mode. They also have a sub mode, which will do the opposite to the original tool. For example, this instead of drawing, it's like pushing the, the vertices in. There's also the airbrush tool, which will take effect for as long as we press the, the mouse with, the, with left click. For how long we left click, it will keep changing the, the surface of our mesh. 
instead of use a fixed value. So there are shortcuts for all these tools. They all start with the, sh with the first letter of it, like throw, smooth, P for pinch, E for, I for inflate, sorry. But flatten is T instead of F because F is already used. We can also change the levels with a shortcut, page up and down, it's going to switch between uh, the levels of geometry we have. Which is also really cool if we want to change quickly. Then sculpt in a lower detail, then change to a higher detail level and that's it. There are also some symmetry tools which are really helpful. Not in this case, not that much. But for example, if you're modeling a face, you could just sculpt in, uh, sculpt in some part of this face, like in half face, and the other half will be sculpted automatically, like a mirror. It's really nice. Here it doesn't make much sense because our our shape is not really symmetric. So I think that's it, let's move to the brushes.